This is Bree's fault, she said. Do you want one? me put a helmet on in that intro but I have I just forgot to put it on for the intro so I haven't made a YouTube video in a while and just wanted to get back into it start making some more vlogs uh, videos on really anything not specifically on cameras anymore uh, that's kind of one of the reasons I've stopped making videos just because it's a lot of pressure to try and come up with a topic that's good, that's relevant, that people will like. At least for now, I'm probably just gonna be making vlogs um, so that I can get back into it, start enjoying it a little bit. Uh, but two things I wanna talk about is two purchases that I've made. The first one you've seen is that motorcycle. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about a little bit more about that in just a sec. But the second thing is I've been talking about wanting a camera, a photography camera specifically, to actually just get out and take pictures, um, no pressure, no expectations. And I was messing around with the idea of getting a Leica, a Hasselblad camera, um, trying to justify the prices by saying that I would use that for other content creation work. But Ultimately, I just wanted a camera that I could take anywhere, that I didn't feel any pressure, that I could just point and shoot and see what happens, that I could take to family events, to really just anywhere to have fun with. Um, kind of like an iPhone, but a little bit more fun. Um, so I did get a camera. It's the Fujifilm X-Pro1. And this is a super old camera. I forget now how old it is, like 10 years. So not new by any means. I picked it up used for like $200. Um, one of the reasons is obviously the price, super cheap. Another reason is there's a bunch of third party lenses out there for super cheap as well. I think I picked up this lens for under $100 or around $100. It's a 35 millimeter TT Artisan. Um, and it's an all manual lens. And again, it's perfect just no pressure, just go out and shoot. I still think this camera takes amazing pictures. Um, it's an old camera, it's already super beat up. The screen is super damaged. Uh, that's how I got it, but that way I don't have to worry about it. Let's go take some pictures, just a few pictures around here, and then we'll talk about the second purchase, which is kind of wild, and it's a big purchase. crazy here so uh yeah let's go to a new spot get some more pictures talk about that bike i've been riding around for about an hour since i last vlogged and it's 86 degrees out here so it is hot but yeah i got a motorcycle rebel 500 um, i've been wanting a motorcycle for a while now a few things happened uh, basically, Bree said, hey, do you want to get a motorcycle? And then like a few days later, I was in that new motorcycle rider course, um, ended up getting my license and then we picked up the bike. So yeah, it's actually been a few weeks now since I've had the bike, uh, just kind of riding around slowly, getting used to it. Uh, I didn't want to do anything crazy too fast because I know these things are, these things are fun, but they're dangerous. Um, so definitely want to take it seriously. And today's actually been the longest, uh, the most I've written, the longest I've written. It was probably, like I said, an hour. Um, just riding around, no real destination, just taking whatever streets I wanted. But yeah, show you the bike. And then I want to get some more pictures with the X-Pro1, so we'll definitely do that. Also, huge shout out to Boss Helmets. Um, right there. They actually sent me out two helmets, so my first two motorcycle helmets. And these things look amazing. And I mean, I don't know much about motorcycle helmets and gear and stuff, but they feel really comfortable. And I've been loving them right now. And this is the first one that I've been trying out. And I have a second one that's actually my favorite of the two. Just I haven't put on the, uh, the visor thing so that it doesn't fog up. So I haven't been using it, but that one, it's awesome. This one's a little bit brighter and more colorful, but that other one is just, I'll show it off. 
Um, maybe this vlog, maybe the next one. But uh, yeah, big shout out, big thank you to them. Uh, go check them out if you're thinking of getting a motorcycle, if you have one. Um, again, don't know much about motorcycles, so do your research, but these things look and feel comfortable to me. So other than that, I'm just gonna get uh, some pictures and then we'll call it a day. Last thing I just wanted to show you guys is check out this other helmet. You might not be able to tell because uh, it's dark. Look at the detail on this one. It just doesn't have that thing so it doesn't fog up yet, which I've been meaning to put on. Um, but yeah, again, just wanted to do a quick little vlog uh, since I haven't done anything. Um, hope you enjoyed. I'll be posting more about the motorcycle, just about random stuff I do now so that I can actually start vlogging again. But uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to watch me do random stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.